Hey everybody, Sam back once again and today we're going to show you how you can improve the speed on your S4. So yeah, let's check it out. Right, so this is going to be a very short, easy video to understand. So first of all, there's two ways you're going to be able to do this. Now, it's actually not going to improve the actual process of speed and stuff like that, but it's going to improve the overall experience. Now, as you know, when you go into an application, it's kind of got like an animation that pops up. So we're going to turn those animations off. Now, some people who watch my channel already know how to do this. This is for those that don't know how to do that. So as an example, we'll show you again. Let's go into Instagram. We see like the animation. So what we're going to do is you want to go into your settings and then go across to more. Now, as you can see, I've got some of these developer options. That it's not always it's not turned on as of standard. If you've not got this already turned on, you need to go to about device, scroll down to the bottom, and you see where it says build number. Well, I'll just start tapping that. And as you can see, it says no need to do it because developer mode is already option is already there. I think you have to press it about five times, and then it says you are a developer. You're not really, but anyway, <laughs> I digress. So you want to go into developer options, and you want to scroll down to this little bad boy here, and you've got three of the options. So you've got Windows Animation Scale is set as one. You want to turn it off. You can put it to half if you want to, if you still want a bit of an animation. I recommend you turn all those completely off, and you are good to go. So when you press the home button. You see, it's generally instant. Now, just to make sure it's fair, that obviously it's you know, not pre-configured in there. Now, when you open up, you see it pops up straight away. Now, obviously, there's a delay in terms of how long the application may take to load, but when you press it, it's instantly there. So that's the first way to do it. Now, the second way, as I'm probably telling, every time you press the home button, there's a slight delay in terms of some people think it's lag. It's not lag, it's because you're using S voice. So if you double tap it, obviously, you get your S voice. Now, the problem with that, is that it's always thinking you might be double pressing it. So even if you're not going to double press it, it's thinking, hang on, are they going to press it? No, they're not, then we'll do it. So go into S Voice, press your home, press your menu button, go into settings, and it says there, open via the home key, turn that bad boy off. Now when you press it, boom, as you can tell, it's instantly there. So jumping into it, jumping out of it, is instant. And that's it, people. There's just two really quick ways how to kind of give your, your phone an artificial way of seeming faster than it actually should be because obviously the animations do add a little bit of lag so to speak anyway people as always I appreciate you watching this one if you've got any questions as always leave those comments down below if you want to follow me on Twitter I'm at Sam J Pullen please don't forget to hit that like button it is very much appreciated and subscribe for more anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video cheers everyone